working hard every week, every day of the week, and going out there with Saturdays and performing on the way we did. Um, I want to thank God for allowing the coaches that we have to make great game plans and stuff like that. Um, the players are buying in to everything we want to put see. Dude, what do you say to Dejan after a fumble like that? Do you have to say anything to him to start the game? Obviously, yeah, turn over. Do you get up under him and say, hey, it's all right, we're going to get it back? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just how he did when I was from. Um, it's a brotherhood. Some people right now, I'm trying to get uh, so I can pose your, uh, your cars out. And that's how we let them know. Don't worry about it. Let it go. Get on the bed. Get on the bed. The atmosphere out there tonight, does it remind you of national championship box? Because it seemed like it was a national championship game. I'm not going to lie. It was definitely. Uh, one of those type of moments national championship but um, just our fans I love the way we played in this game today our fans were so excited I just thank God that they were here and allowing us to get uh, momentum off of them Kenny, like so how, how did you get so wide open on that play and you know Tennessee's the one who been doing that all season getting their guys buffed or whatever I mean, you're talking about my catch yeah. uh, I believe the corner I believe it's corner we didn't roll I don't know if he busted anything like that Linebacker play. So, the was coming. Not that the team lack confidence going forward. What kind of confidence does this give you guys that you guys head down the stretch of the season? We didn't have confidence. We already knew we should do this. We already knew we should do this. We already knew we should do this. Our coach about me is talking to us and we're trying to practice. We're going to ask all the population is ready to win. So, the population is probably better than the first game. Little chip on your shoulder after Tennessee gets ranked number one in the college football playoffs. You don't really, you don't really buy into the record or anything like that. You know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, come out here. That's true. That's what we did. They got a good team over there. Um, uh, Georgia just over there. They got they got. Kenny, correct me if I'm wrong. Were you here in 2019 for the Notre Dame game? Compare that atmosphere for me versus today. I covered that game. I think it's your comparison, but I want to hear yours. That's crazy. We were talking about that on the sideline. Um, that was a crazy game, too, as well. But I want to say this game, just because I, I mean, fans, I don't know. It's just a different atmosphere out there. It was the loudest we had in there so long. And just, just being able to hear all that when we first came out in the tunnel is just amazing. I thank God for it. Are you willing to say it was today? Because I thought it was. I think it was. How did the crowd help you guys tonight? It got us um, momentum. It got the uh, other team. They couldn't really hear much against uh, penalties. Um, I don't know how many penalties they have, but I believe it was a lot. Because I was in the penalty. We had a quarterback and a snap count and anything. People jumping our sides. Um, the Falls have a good team. I want to get them credit and everything. And all that. Georgia fans definitely came out on top of you. Five false starts in the first half when they had some more to say. And that's what it definitely worked. Tell me how Todd Monkey has changed the offense and has had you guys rolling so often in these big games. It just seems like you guys are always consistent. Uh, I want to say he changed the offense. We still do the same. It's just the way we go by our preparation for our practice. Uh, we put us in moments that, uh, that, that can happen in the game and stuff like that. So we, we go through the moments of practice. It's like the second, you know, we don't even think about it. We, we just react when we're on the field. Um, when we prepare and practice, it's good, it's key. As I've been saying, um, Kirby and the coaches always put up a good game plan, and practice plan, whatever it is, the players believe in it, and go out there. I just know how different, like, Todd Murphy has you guys prepared from when he was in there, how he's changed the offense here today. Uh, I've been saying, I can see people being more explosive, um, using our weapons a lot more, um, being able to change it up, uh, running and passing the ball. Um, I'll see you. That, that, that probably was a lot of change. Kenny, what does this say about your football team? What do you think this says about your, your football team? Man, we got composure, tough guys. Um, relentless. We go out there and play throughout the year. No matter what the condition is. Um, the rain came, unfortunately, and we still had to go out there and execute them all. So I think this team is very strong and um, we know how to fight. I say that definitely know how to fight. I mean, we wasn't down today, but we had to keep our foot on their neck throughout the game and win a good game. It's SEC opponent, and we always knew it was really tough. So I thank God for, uh, for that. And, uh, yeah, I see that. Did you see this coming, like, during the week or before the game? Did you see this performance coming? Uh, not really seen this performance coming, but I believe that uh, in the game plan, uh, the way we prepared for um, this game, they put us in the best position to win. So I believe throughout practice, every day of practice, we go out there, if you play hard, it's going to show on Saturday. So I believe that's what got us to win. God, thank God. Thanks, Kim.